I'm Francesco, I'm a marine biologist. I study sharks and rays mainly, but also other big things that move in the sea and are hard to find. So my main project was A, to tag sharks, but B, to put down cameras to find out what's along the reefs here. I think what's particularly interesting is the potential for this new area. It's been quite incredible. Getting to find out more about the animals here that no one has really studied before. I passed the process of the shark, so at least we'll get that one. First step. First step. First was 27 meters. Thanks. 27 meters, 29 degrees. Mission accomplished. So uh, BROV is actually an acronym. It stands for Baited Remote Underwater Video. And it's basically a metal structure that has a bait pouch in front of it and a camera on it. We drop these on the seafloor and we leave them to basically attract things to the bait and record. They're a very good technique to study how a protected area evolves in time because it's minimally invasive and it gives you a very good idea of what species are in the area or at least the species that may be interested in eating fish. So we're mainly focusing this to target sharks. how good our spatial coverage looks. So it looks good. really nice. Like we have very good coverage all across, basically from Scylla all the way up to Northern Aqaba. Like, yeah. well, we've been doing this for almost two months. And oh, the only other bruvs that have been put up here in this area before are, were here, and there were 15 of them, and now we got 130. So we've increased coverage by um, an order of magnitude and placed the first bruvs in the Gulf of Aqaba, which is also really interesting. And this is really important data. It's surprising, but I'm very happy. <laughs> it's hard to interact or design any conservation measures if you don't know what's in an area. And bruvs yeah. are the best way to do that, or one of the best ways to do it. Bruvs are a very good pl a good method of getting data what is in a certain area when you just have no idea and it's repeatable if if they create a protected area or things like that and they want to survey how that changes in the future you just go back and keep putting them in and you don't actually negatively affect the environment. <laughs> <laughs>